Welcome, YouTube. Back to the Wolf Den at Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. Where we do fishing, boating, knives, knife sharpening, fishing tackle, lures, hooks, rigs, you name it. In the video description below, there is an entire list of everything we do here. What am I going to cover today? Well, I'm going to show you something that is works for me. I've had this for quite a while, and then I even purchased some new ones. And what it is, is Stealth Gear 180 series is a collection of elastic carriers designed to accommodate a wide variety of a wide range of everyday carry tools constructed of industrial grade polyester wrapped rubber that is woven and the SG 180 carrier is a durable carrier solution that will maintain its elasticity under hard use and extreme conditions and this is perfect for you docker wearers who you know, maybe don't want to carry a knife in your pocket. That's what this is all about. Not having a knife in your pocket. This is the product. These are various loops here of this woven elastic material. Of course, they've got their VentCore USA label on it, which is kind of right there. <laughs> you can cut that off, I'm sure. Here's another one. This is just a single. And what this does is it goes over your belt. Here's another one that has a pass-through. You can see there's my you can see light through it. And then over here, you've got this where it stops. And you can put a knife in there. So let me show you. Oh, and here's another one that's really flat and very, very thick. And what you have is a place to pass your belt through. You got a spot to pass your belt through. And then you got your belt going through there. And then on each side, you've got a sewn spot where it's a dead end. And you can put stuff in it. So are you thoroughly confused by now? All right long as I confused you well. Here it is. On my AFCO Blue Water shorts. That's all I wear. Here's what you do. I really like this system. Because if you don't want to carry your regular, like a sheath, maybe your knife doesn't come with a sheath. Not all knives come with sheaths. Isn't that something? Not all knives that have a pocket clip are all that friendly. And not all those docker pants do you want a knife clipped to your to your pocket. Now here's what I do with this. And it's going through my belt. And then, let's see. My belt's going through one side and then sewn on the other. And then what do I carry over here? I carry a cold steel holdout three. I have really, really enjoyed this system. Because this is the razor blade. Took the pocket clip off of it. 
Not interested. Not interested in the pocket clip. And what it does, this isn't for going in and out, in and out, in and out. This, you can see my belt goes through one side. All right, let's, let's pull it off. I know this is kind of confusing here. But there you go. As you wear it, you can kind of get it stretched out. My belt goes through one side. They make magazine holders the same way for your for your uh, pistol fire firearms. So you can see my my belt goes through on one side, and I always wear these big heavy nylon belts. And then over here, right there, it's sewn and closed off. And then the knife slides right in there like that. No pocket clip. Nice and flush. It's kind of the same reason. This is one of these things that I like because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of bait casters. Bait casting tackle. Going in my rod holders on my boat. They're not obtrusive. But possibly spinners with their eyes that hang out and are always in the way because the eyes stick out that far on a spinning re on a spinning rod and so does a spinning reel and so does its handle and its bail and they're just so obtrusive. Where bait casting reel sits a little closer to the rod, the eyes don't bulge out. It's on the same premise. So you could have a small knife alongside your belt. So that's all these are. And it slides. Now, granted, if you're wearing some skinny little leather belt or something, this is probably not for you but you can change on these you can change it out so now you see you've got a pass through here in the middle of this one this is a three pack a variety pack of these so there's my you can pass it through there would be the belt like that and on this one you have storage on this side, and then you have storage on this side for whatever reason. You might want to put this on like a backpack, right? On a strap on a backpack, and you could have a blade on one side and a blade on the other side. So that's what this one is sort of for. <coughs> I was watching a channel that I'm subscribed to. Uh, he's a Canadian, I believe. Possibly Western Canada. And the Johnny Juke channel. And what was he trying to do? He was trying to figure out how to take a buck 110 leather sheath and mount it horizontally on a belt versus hanging. He wanted to mount it this way versus it hanging like this. And he had on his YouTube channel where you could not post a link I went and said, Yo, Johnny Juke, which I enjoy his channel. I'm a subscriber. Johnny Juke, they make something for that. Because on this, these, let's say this big, this one right here, it's just a single tube of the elastic. You run your belt in here, and then you could fit basically almost any knife 
in there and a buck 110 will slide right in there and it's held really really tight because now you can see on this one there's it's not like layers where let's say on this one if this is confusing enough for you all Alrighty, there you go. There it is on my side. Slides back and forth. I got my hold out, which I'm using a nice thin knife right there. You can hardly even tell it's there. And I can pull it straight out and I slide it like this and I grab it and I pull and I slide it back in. Can't do it now because I have to hold the camera, of course. This one, you'd run your belt through the center and you've got two pockets, one on each side. So that one would be like for a, uh, a backpack. This one, you run your belt through and you've got one small, right here it's stitched, so the belt goes through on one, and then you've got a small envelope right here where you can put the knife. You gotta experiment around like I did here. Say so this one, I'm using this one, and this one here is just a hair longer. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if you can see that, black against black here, black against blue, but it works out. And I have it on my, and I also have down here, this is my plier pocket. Now you gotta remember folks, I don't wear jeans. I don't wear jeans. I haven't wore a pair of jeans, or I haven't worn a pair of long pants since the last time I had to do jury duty. <laughs> so I got a plier pocket here on the same pair of shorts that I wear 24-7, 365 of all different various colors. I do just enjoy just plain blue the most. And here, I do have a pocket knife. So I'm a two knife guy. Because you know, I don't carry my big bucks all that much. I'm more of a buck collector versus a wearer. So over here, with I got a video coming soon is I'm gonna have some videos all about these little, little tiny little auto type knives that are just like, they're just so perfect. So this one sits in my plier pocket and that is the one that I cut everything with, let's say. And then here, this is where the razor blade, beyond razor blade, is uh, stored. This is one of those situations where when you do pull it out, when you go to put it back in, it's almost a two-handed operation. I have to open this little slot and then slide the knife back in. I'll have these on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page for you to take a look at. If you're wanting to stealthily, because you can imagine if you've got a black belt and you have this and you can cut this little tag off. I just left it there for the hell of it. If you got a black belt and then you got a black this, can you imagine how nobody will ever really even notice it? I watched a lot of YouTube videos last night and they were all about um, short bladed California, or as we refer to it here in Florida, wacko fornia knife laws with the short little blades. All right, I'm kind of getting into a short blade type thing this was my smallest knife I've ever owned which was the holdout 3 and as I said I will have a future video coming here of some really small knives so I was 
looking into the short blades, the short autos, the short everything. Easy, easy, easy carry. But my God, that is the easy carry right there, folks. So I'll have these on my Tools of the Trade page. There's a link below. When you go and it says my Amazon affiliates thing, reviewed products, if you click on that, then you click on that and it opens up to a multitude of products and things that I have reviewed, I guess, and I use constantly. And thanks for watching.